Good morning. The background is different today because I am home for the weekend. I am at my mom's house right now. And uh, I figured I'd shoot a little video. A lot of people have been uh, wondering. There has been some rumors going on. And I figured I would quell those today by talking about why I left BuzzFeed. So as you know, a little while ago, a couple people from BuzzFeed got fired. And uh, I believe Gabby was talking about this on her Twitter and she brought up my name. And so then people started thinking, oh, maybe I got fired also. And that's not true. Uh, I quit. I've talked about how I got my job before, but it sort of fell into my lap and I became very lucky. And I had started my YouTube channel prior to this and I was vlogging and I was really enjoying it. When BuzzFeed came along, I was like, oh yeah, online video, I should do that, I like that. And uh, so I started going down that path. So when I started working at BuzzFeed, I wanted to do scripted videos. I wanted to tell stories. And as I'm sure a lot of you know, there are many different types of videos that you make at BuzzFeed. And not only are there a lot of different types of videos that get made, but there are a lot of videos that get made all the time. I started to realize that to BuzzFeed, uh, in a lot of cases, quantity trumps quality. They would rather have more videos than fewer good videos. And the reasoning behind this, I think, is just that the more videos you make, the more money you make, generally. And there was also a focus on virality. The videos you make are expected to go viral. Not all of them, but ideally a lot of them. And, you know, that's a lot of pressure. And what that means is that sometimes you might make some videos that you don't really enjoy uh, because you want to hit those benchmarks. You want to get a million views. You want to get a ton of shares on Facebook. Especially as an intern and a fellow, you're expected to make a lot of hit videos. It's competitive, right? If you don't do a good job, then you're not going to get the producer position. And because of that, a lot of producers, when they finally get there, are burnt out. You know, every waking hour of their time for three months or six months or nine months was devoted to, okay, how can I make the video that's going to do the best on YouTube? And while all this is happening, I'm also working on this channel. You know, I started it before and then once I started working at BuzzFeed, it got a little bit more attention. I thought that was really cool and I wanted to continue making videos on this channel and to see how I could grow this channel and see what more I could do with it. But while I was making so many videos at BuzzFeed and while I was working there, you know, uh, eight hours every day, it was there for nine hours every day, that doesn't leave a lot of time to work on projects outside of BuzzFeed. And not only does it not leave a lot of time, but you're not allowed to work on projects outside of BuzzFeed. I know there's been a lot of uh, controversy over that lately too. And as this channel started to grow more, I became more interested in the idea of becoming an independent creator and getting to make videos that, that I cared about and that weren't necessarily focused on going crazy viral. And at the same time, I started to feel like there wasn't necessarily a path for me at BuzzFeed. And part of that was because it was unclear what a path might look like to how to grow as a creator. Uh, and part of that was that, you know, uh, as I'm sure you've heard, some producers have, have gotten this partnership and a lot of producers haven't and it was sort of unclear why and how and all this stuff, you know, pressure from a quota, feeling like there's no growth, wanting to work on my own content, that all started to make me very unhappy and very, <laughs> very unhappy and I started to not look forward to coming to work every day and I started to just be very unhappy at work and that made productivity really difficult and that made making videos really hard. I started feeling like I didn't know how to be creative anymore and that is a scary thought. So that's why I quit. I wanted to have more control over my videos. I wanted to be able to focus on growing my own channel and, and growing myself as a creator. I wanted to take back my creativity and I wanted to be happier. And I have been so much happier. When I left, it was like a weight had been lifted from my shoulders. So now I wanna talk about what's next because that's really exciting to me. I'm going to start making two videos a week. One video on Tuesday and one video on Thursday. One of the videos every week is gonna be like this where I talk to you guys about stuff and the other video is gonna be a vlog like I used to do. It's not going to be like before when I would try so hard to get a video up and, and I just I wouldn't be able to do it because I didn't have time or resources or energy after going to work all day. And inevitably, because I need to make a living somehow, some of those videos are probably going to be branded videos, and I'm sure you've seen a couple on my channel already, and hopefully you enjoyed them. 
um, I, I want to survive. I want to not have to move back here and move back in with my parents. I want to live in LA, so I need to make money. But honestly, the best way to support me would be to subscribe and to share these videos with your friends. You know, it's really scary to give up the safety of a job that has benefits and a salary and a audience built in but you know to me my happiness was more important and it was affecting other parts of my life and so yeah it's really scary to leave uh, but I really feel like I made the right decision and I'm feeling very optimistic about the future there are a lot of really cool videos coming so look out for those thank you for sticking around so far I hope you continue to do so like I said there is a lot more to come this channel is just getting started please subscribe if you haven't already so that you know when I put out a new video follow me on all my social media I'm on literally everything you can find it in the description box and also on the end card give this video a thumbs up if you like it send it to a friend or two and I will see you on Thursday